Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you are returning, welcome back to I Am Michelle. And of course, I am Michelle. Hi guys, my name is Michelle and this channel is called I Am Michelle. Um, in today's video, I am just going to be getting ready to work from home yes i have a full-time job i've been at my job for 24 years and i just started working from home probably about two years ago um it didn't have anything to do with with um the pandemic i was in the office every day excuse me during the pandemic but then i don't know my supervisor decided to let me work from home at first it was um four days a week and then come in one day but then she changed it to I didn't have to come in unless you know there were like days for the meetings for our monthly meetings so yep that's all we're going to be doing today um I just got up and I am straightening up my room making a bed you know getting uh opening up the curtains and the blinds to get some natural light in and finna go into the bathroom and do my um hygiene care um i'm doing all of my oil care before i hit the showers which includes of course brushing my teeth flossing mouthwash and all of those other good old things um so yeah um getting ready for that just right here i'm just combing my hair as you can see it's nothing major but um yeah so my job i am a um transition of care coordinator I've been in my job for 24 years. Uh, when I started the job, I started out as a unit clerk. Um, I do work in a community health center. And sorry about that, guys. If you heard some hollering in the background, that was just my husband. I do apologize. Um... I don't even know where I was at. Um, I've been in my job for 24 years. Um, I started out as a unit clerk. I did that for 18 years. And then I went into transition of care and been at that in that role since then, ever since then. So that's a little bit about me. So what you're seeing right now is I am making me some frozen cappuccino and it's pretty much like coffee now i don't like regular coffee so i get the um the cappuccino i use the hill was the hills brothers um it's hills brothers sugar-free french vanilla cappuccino now this part here i am using one scoop of my husband's coffee that's as much coffee as i can take and then with the cappuccino it doesn't taste like coffee you can taste the coffee but it doesn't taste like coffee so the cappuccino the frozen cappuccino i use milk um any kind of milk you like i usually have whole milk i put in three tablespoons of the cappuccino mix and i put in one scoop of my husband's decaffeinated coffee blend it all together uh, make sure it's blended really well now this glass that i'm using i'm not sure the ounces i don't know if it's an eight ounce or what um, i'm also gonna add some starbucks zero sugar caramel macchiato and um, the glass that I'm using, I'm just going to fill it up two and a half times with ice. Um, 
I usually have some caramel, but I was out of caramel, so I just used the, like I said, the the Starbucks caramel macchiato, and it is zero sugar. Now the Hills Brother cappuccino that I used is also zero sugar. Um, most of the things that I drink is zero sugar or diet because I am a diabetic. Even though I know you guys going to say, well, it's still sugar in there. I know it's like aspartame, a sugar substitute. I, I understand that. But to kind of manage my diabetes, I try not to have too much sugar. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, I do love me a good pop or some candy or ice cream or something if I have a taste for it. I will have it. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm letting this blend really, really well. Letting um, the ice, you know, get chopped up and everything. And I think I'm going to add another half cup of ice. Um, yeah, another half cup of ice I'm adding in. Um, So I'm going to just let that just blend until everything is blended really well. And now, like I said, I don't know the measurements. And I really don't know how to do just like one cup. So the very first time I made this, I made it in the blender. And what you see me doing is what I've always done. But I don't know how to measure it as just for, you know, one cup. This blender size may make a good three um, these size glasses that I have. Like I believe it might be an 8 ounce glass or 12 ounce glass. I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to measure it and let you guys know. So, um, yeah, anyway, that is my frozen cappuccino recipe. Now, if I'm having the hot cappuccino, I use water and, um, and still the same amount of cappuccino mix. So, um, now I forgot that this, this, blender had a pour spout um this top actually goes so i had to buy a new blender and this top and the base goes to the new blender but i just changed it out because of the new blender glass is a little bit smaller so i just had to change that out and here i am now i'm logging into work um so the first thing that i do when i log into work is check my emails if I have to respond to any emails, <clears throat> excuse me, or any of that. Um, and once I do that, I actually log into our work program and I um, check my desktop, make sure there's no phone notes that I need to return, anything that needs to be faxed or anything that needs my immediate attention before um I actually get started on everything. And so we have a new person in our um, department. And I was doing some training of him. So then I have to go in and kind of check over his work to make sure he's doing everything right. So it's after work now. And I am just walking the dogs. We're going to the park just to hang out for a little bit. Nothing major. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my work day. I probably walk maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Hi, guys. So, welcome back. Um, I am now off of work. Hope you guys can hear me because I'm kind of covering up the microphone. Um, I'm off of work now actually walking the dogs and uh it is a beautiful day outside it's probably about 70 degrees here now and i forgot my sunglasses uh yeah so work was cool i was going to come back on um on my lunch break but my husband had the music going so i don't want to record while the music was going so y'all like so i'm outside now I'm walking the dogs I'm finna take them to the park. I wish I can let them loose and let them run a little bit, but the park is not a closed off area. Come here, guys. Come here, guys. So, uh, like I said, it's a nice day outside today. 
And them, it's so nice out that I just saw um, a person driving by with their uh, in that slingshot. So yesterday I saw a bunch of people on their motorcycles doing all their willies and stuff. I'm like, yeah, as soon as it get warm outside, now they, uh, you know, got a death wish because they doing willies and handstands all on the motorcycle. A whole group of them, too. Probably about good eight to ten of them in a the group. But, um, anyway, um, like I'm walking the dogs, work, come on, girly. Work was, uh, work, you know, I work from home, so... It is what it is. Uh, yeah. So, I'm finna get to the park. And then I'll catch back up with you guys once I get there. Okay, guys. So, I done made it to the park. Uh, don't look like it's much going on out here today. I don't see no kids out here unless they're over there in the playground. I am on the other side of the park. Um, I don't even... Oh, yes, it is. it's a couple of people over there playing basketball, but it's not much going on. There's no games going on out here. It's usually like some um, after school activities going on out here. It's nothing going on today. The parking lot is not even full uh, at the field house. But anywho, just sitting here. So, so while I was walking, there was an older gentleman um, sitting in his car and we had walked past and he was like, um, excuse me, what are the um, the orange tags for on their collars? I said, those are poop bags. He was like, oh, and just started busting up laughing. I don't know what he thought they were, but um, I put their poop bags on that collar i put like two or three of them on each one because sometimes when we out um they may poop a couple a couple of times <laughs> so we put more than one on there and that was just too funny he said what are they for i was walking down the street the other day and this lady was like uh those some nice uh siberian sea huskies i was like huh she was kind of off on that stuff too you can you know look at it till she was out there with her girlfriends out there just in the middle of nowhere just you know but um anyway so i'm gonna sit here for a minute and uh i don't know i don't really have nothing to talk about i just kind of wanted to uh finish out the day from this morning um I do have a couple of videos that I'm trying to edit. And uh I, th I think I got one that's probably going to either go up tonight or tomorrow and then I have another one that I actually just edited that'll probably go up in a few days. So I'm trying to figure out um if I want to upload every week like I was doing before because I, I really I can't upload every day I'm an introvert honey I don't have a lot of things going on in my life none that's really interesting so um oh my ankle so uh yeah I'm thinking that I want to do it um once a week like I was doing before so, I think that'd be the best bet. If I'm able to upload twice a week, then, you know, I'm, I'll do that. But I think for right now, it may just be once a week. Until I actually, you know, get back into the groove of things, maybe. That's a big maybe now. Because, uh, like I said, I'm not doing a whole lot. And, uh most of my things gonna be in the house unless I'm like out shopping or uh, something like that so maybe cooking um, basically it's just gonna be my life as a 50 plus introvert and if you guys are kind of confused on introverts and extro extroverts 
An introvert is those that um, pretty much stay in the house, kind of stay to themselves, don't have a lot of friends. Um, so, I, I didn't used to be um, an introvert. Um, like, I, I had a bunch of friends. We used to hang out all the time. And for a while, I kind of was wondering, like, you know, what the problem was because um, all the people that I had considered my friends, even my cousin-in-law, we used to hang out real tough, right? And I don't know what it was, but just everybody just kind of backed away from me. And, and, and I was kind of wondering, I was just like, well, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. You know, we would hang out. We would call each other all the time and check in on each other and all that. And every friend that I can count, or well, everybody that I had considered my friend that I can count, um, we just don't really keep in touch like that anymore. And like I said, then I just came to the conclusion that maybe it's just me. So, I'm just like, okay, well, you know, that's fine. If you call, that's fine. And then, hey, guys, so there's a lot of times where I will call and check on people, like, constantly. But nobody will call and check on me. Um, I may, you know, go out by, by their house and say, hey, how you doing? What's going on? You know, I don't want to. I just ain't heard from you in a minute. But nobody would do that to me. And then when I stop calling people, then everybody like, well, damn, where's she been? You know, why she haven't been calling? Dude, every time I call you or come back, you know, it's, you know, like if I call, they may answer the phone, they may not. And then the phones nowadays, I know that you know that I call. I mean, because it shows up on a caller ID or a missed call or whatever. You see that it's me. So I just stop calling people. And it's like, you know, whatever. I just kind of stay to myself now. So if I hang out, I hang out with my child. And, you know, like I say, especially like during the spring and summer, man, you, you talking about outside, we was outside all the time from day sun up to sundown. And have it some, like on the weekends, the sun about to come back up again. I would get up, uh, especially like on the weekend, get up, um, you know, chit shower, shave and all that good old stuff. Go to my girl's house. We kick it like all day all day i may not get home till like two three o'clock in the morning and i wasn't even driving and i was on the bus and then it was like some days i would be hanging out we go to the club or whatever and i go to work from the club you know it had gas away i would start keeping um toothpaste and uh mouthwash and stuff like that in my locker because you never know when i'm I'm going out, you know, even if it was like during the week, we go out and hang out all night and get them go to work the next day. And see if we even made it home. But now it's like, I'm just sitting out, don't do nothing, watch TV, bored out of my mind. And I said I was going, um, I'm just going to find me some new friends, some real friends, you know. I mean, like some true friends. And, and those are so hard to come by nowadays. Everybody just, you know, want to snake you and stab you in the back. And it's ridiculous. But I said that I was going to um, just get out and find me some new friends or something. So, but anyway, that was just my little rant. Um, I don't know what made me think about it. It just happened to come to my head. But anyway, like I said, I'm sitting in the park. I'm finna continue walking, I guess. Um, I try to walk for at least an hour, at least maybe 30 minutes to an hour every day with the dog, sometimes twice a day. And, uh, and you know, that's my form of exercise. So um, I, I did start doing some light exercises. I think I started like trying to do maybe 10 to 15 minutes a day. Well, actually I only did it once, but I'm, my goal is to try to do it at least three times a week some kind of light exercise you know like say start maybe 10 to 15 minutes um and then kind of boost my way up because i do want to um get some of the weight down you know without any uh surgeries or um 
pills, shots, or anything like that. I just want to kind of do it gradually. So, I know I, I was weighing like 248 pounds. Um, and so, when I started working from home, um, I was walking more. So, I would walk the dogs like so on my lunch break and then when I get off of work. And I was walking 30 minutes to maybe uh, an hour each time and so when i got on the scale at home it said like uh 235 or 233 or something like that and i was just like this can't even be right this scale is not even calibrated but when i, I end up having a doctor's appointment like a couple of days or a week or so after that and the scale at the, at the doctor's office said 235 and i was like oh okay i don't see the the weight coming out but my husband did say it looked like i had lost some weight so the doctor was like well we're gonna see how you do in six months so but while it was cold outside i didn't do a lot of walking because it was cold you know i um i just i don't like being out in the cold i just never had like being out in the cold even with the menopause um i still kind of get those days that it actually is really cold to me and then i get hot again but um he said we're gonna see how we're doing six months but like i said i didn't really walk this much during the winter but since it's warming up now i'm gonna be walking more um and I, I walked with my daughter yesterday and she was just going through a thing because she's not used to walking we was just we was walking to uh one of the other parks with, with both our with our dogs her you know my two dogs and then her little dog and she was just going through a thing and then we had to walk back too but um yes yeah, so i want to get her out here too to do a little more walking all right so cause that's my exercise i'm i'm trying to start doing some regular exercise like so i just started um yesterday i want to say so but anyway i'm just rambling now um i'm getting ready to get off here i'm finna just enjoy this weather finish walking on around because the little fur babies out here getting a little restless so um i am going to i think i'm just going to end this video right here um and yeah, I think I'm just going to end it right here and then I'll just have to catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.